our mission statement is to create a mass scale transformation of humanity into a fully empowered, conscious and cooperative species always has been. And so this, I'm telling you, I wake up now every day, Janet, and I think I have to do this. I feel like uh, this is probably the most important thing I need to do in my lifetime now is that if I don't give this my all, then I'll really wonder, you know, I'll really ask myself some questions because this is almost a moral imperative that we need to make this happen. And so, yeah, it's been incredible to, to work with you and your vision is so aligned with London Real that, um, yeah, it just, it's, it's, it, it's, it's just an amazing fit. And to look at the team and like you said, everyone has been working together and has the same vision and it's just completely different than anything I've seen out there. So thank you. It is completely different. Yeah. Thank you for getting that imperative. It is imperative. I just I, I'm extraordinarily blessed and privileged to have had the opportunity to to do three science degrees and particularly my last degree, which was in artificial intelligence, my master's degree. When I was driving back from my last lecture with incredible Dr. Luca um, on machine learning, as I was driving back from University of Essex back into London, I just started crying in the car and through, I didn't know why, you know, sometimes you're crying and you've got a clear emotional signal running in your brain. I'm crying because of this. This is making me sad. I had no idea why. I was just crying. I cried all the way back in the car, just floods of tears. And how I interpreted that emotional reaction was in two ways. One being I was sad that it was over. It was my last lecture and it had been such a joy to sit in lecture theatre and have, you know, information poured into my veins, have education poured into my veins. And when you pour artificial intelligence and technology into your veins, there's this deep sense of security in life. You know, I will never be hungry. Not that I was ever hungry. I was a, a successful career in banking. But, but my children, my family, I am, I am one of the best equipped people on the planet to support myself, to survive and thrive over the coming artificial intelligence revolution. So part of it was, was sadness that it was over, gratitude for the experience. But the other part was crying for all the people who don't get to do master's degree in artificial intelligence. I want everybody to have that opportunity. There are, you know, there are so many people on the planet don't even get to school, never mind one science degree, two science degrees, three science degrees. And so it's an absolute imperative for me that that privilege, that seat in that university, that, you know, that, that receipt of, of, of such brilliant wisdom and education and technology is put to the highest good for the highest number of people on the planet. In other words, what's the use of me? <laughs> what a beautiful position to be in where, you know, you're needed so much for everything that you've done and, and all the knowledge you have. So I know, I know how you feel. It's, um, it's important. It's an amazing place to be right now as well. We have all these resources and now you just need to execute on everything and literally change the future of the world. Um, if people want to learn more about this project, it's LondonReal.tv forward slash Zarka. What does that forward timeline look like? So proof of concept by end of year, then you start scaling up in 24, 25. What does Zarka look like in 25, do you think? What does it, so, what, what, what would it look like? <laughs> so the, the technology landscape is changing so fast at the moment. Yeah. It's a little bit hard to predict even two years into the future. What blocks might, might evolve, what new business models, what new transformative capabilities will come out of these models when we build them. So let's say we've built our proof of concept by the end of 2023 and we have a super powerful model. We're moving into large scale human training with a reinforcement le learning layer on top. We're, we're training, we scale it throughout 2024 build all of the, the GPUs and, and data centers that we need, scale up the team, uh, build it to a scalable model. Coming into, according to our current plan, coming into 2025, we'll be going to market with some major products. 
And the, those products could be across any industry. But as a starting point, we've selected three major product lines. Two are in the devices space. So smart speakers at home, huge growth market, and smart toys and educational toys. But also we will move into robotic, robotic process automation, lean process streamline, streamlining, working with enterprises, working with companies, small, medium enterprises of all sizes. And actually, the reason why it's hard to exactly predict where we'll be in 2025, it's very likely that we will start these partnerships and start building enterprise products together with our sister company, True AGI in, in the US, start building enterprise products throughout 2024 while we are scaling the model. So I would envisage that by 2025, we will be in large scale product rollout mode, be it through devices such as smart speakers and toys, but also through um, enterprise streamlining automation, customer service enhancements and, and supporting enterprises both in realizing productivity gains, but also in transforming themselves. Because this is like, my first degree was in geology and it's actually through my paleontology and evolution studies that I fell in love with artificial intelligence. It's that evolution aspect. And I see what we're going through now as being the equivalent from an industry perspective of a mass like the Cambrian explosion of life. We'll see so many new businesses grow, grow, so many new business models appear and, and grow at the speed of light at exponential speed, including Zarka, that it's very hard to predict what the, what the economy, business economy, industrial economy, and AI industry is going to look like by 2025. But it will be dramatically enhanced. By our Zarka model. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. The greedy bankers are about to do it again. In 2008, they crashed our financial system and nearly bankrupted the entire global economy. Then they received trillions of dollars in government bailouts. And after, they demanded fat bonuses paid for by you, the taxpayer. It turns out the banks haven't just been screwing the American taxpayers, they're also screwing over their investors. Turns out uh, the banking industry is the worst place you could put your money, despite enormous taxpayer bailouts. Now the bankers are back to take away your financial freedom. They lie and tell you that cryptocurrency isn't safe. They try to make it illegal for you to choose how to invest your hard-earned money. They lie and say cryptocurrency is used by money launderers and criminals. But look at the record. It's the banks themselves that launder hundreds of billions of dollars every year to the biggest criminal operations in the world. Leaked documents have revealed how some UK banks have helped criminals, money launderers and Russians under sanctions. American authorities discovered that the Sinaloa cartel moved $881 million through HSBC accounts as bank officials turned a blind eye to the illegality. The bankers lie and say cryptocurrency is not a real investment. Meanwhile, the smartest CEOs in the world are buying billions 
and billions of it. The truth is that banks lie about cryptocurrency because it makes them scared. The banks take $9 trillion per year of your hard-earned money, and they are worried that they will finally be exposed. They're scared because crypto means they can no longer control your money, which means they can no longer control you. They are scared because you might actually understand your money and intelligently decide what to do with it. Now is the time for us to come together, fight back, and take control. It's time to educate ourselves, our families, and our communities. Because financial education means financial freedom. We know that cryptocurrencies will help us build the new decentralized financial system of the future. A banking system that is of the people, by the people, and for the people. A banking system where access to finance is a fundamental human right. A banking system that is free and fair and welcomes all humans on this earth. The DeFi revolution is happening. We, the people, can no longer be fooled. We choose to take control of our finances. We choose to take control of our freedom. We choose to take control of our future. Join us and let's take back our financial freedom forever.